Hey, this is BR2155, and uh, today I'm going to review for you another Manjaro, and I apologize, uh, the last time I looked at a Manjaro, uh, a Manjaro spin, uh, I was mispronouncing the name, I know better now. Uh, anyway, I am going to do uh, a quick review on the Cup of Linux uh, Manjaro spin. Now, if you're watching my channel, you have probably also seen uh, Spatry. Uh, this is this is his baby. He he. Uh, you can tell he put a lot of work into this, and uh, this is a this is his. Uh, spin on uh, on the man on the Manjaro Linux distribution, and and I gotta say I you know I I gotta give him I, I gotta give the guy some credit because he he's frankly accomplished something that I've never been able to do and that's uh, put out his own Linux distro and uh, and you know it it it's uh, you know given the look and the feel and, and overall polish of this he, you can really tell he he's put a lot of effort into it and uh, and hats off to him. Now, what we have here, what you're looking at, the, this is an XFC uh, desktop environment, and I could be wrong, but I think that's more or less the default uh, desktop environment for Manjaro. I know they have some other uh, officially supported flavors from their distro team. Uh, I believe uh, they have a KDE spin. Uh, I'm not sure. I think they have a gnome shell spin, and and a couple of others. And then there are community distros like the cinnamon one isn't officially supported by by the Manjaro project team, but uh, it's a community distro. And uh, anyway, you can go back and take a look at that video if you like. So I will say I will say this when I went to install. Or at, after I installed this, uh, I keep my home directory on a separate partition. Uh, that's kind of a common habit of you know of Ubuntu, Debian, Linux Mint users. A lot of us do that. Uh, and normally it's not an issue uh, if you're you know, installing different Linux distros side by side. Normally, they can share the home. Uh, they can share that home partition without too many issues. Uh, but when I went in to log in as myself, I got uh, I got an error. Uh, it was I believe the specific error was failed to execute login. Well. I'm actually, I'm just, I'm just putting it out, uh, uh, just I'm just putting this out there so that you know anybody who watches this and wants to try it the way I do it, uh, they're aware of it. It's a, a common enough problem, and this is where I've I've really got to give uh, uh, give the couple Linux folks uh, credit for this. When you start up uh, Firefox, which is the default browser. He's already got a link over here for Troubleshooter. So you click on that Troubleshooter and you know I put in uh, you know I just did the search term for uh, failed to execute login and You know, here we go. Here's links to it. I believe I clicked on that one here. It goes to the Manjaro forums. And uh, I found the problem. It's uh, for some reason uh, when you when you're connecting a separate home partition 
uh, this file, this XINITRC uh, file, does not get written uh, in the user's home folder. So it was a matter of just you know copying and pasting this file into my home folder and then I was able to log in. And for some reason, even though I wasn't able to log in as my normal under my normal user account at first, I was able to log in as root. So and I'm actually shooting this video uh, on the root account. And I don't ever recommend uh, using the root account for day-to-day -day stuff. That's that's bad practice. But the reason why I'm doing that is because uh, my daily driver operating system is Linux Mint Cinnamon, and uh, when you uh, when you're connecting uh, an XFCE desktop environment to the Linux Mint or uh, to a home folder that was originally created under Linux Mint, uh, there's some cinnamon conventions that don't exactly translate well, so it falls back to a base uh, XFCE desktop environment. So basically, if I were showing you this under my home login, you wouldn't be able to see all the goodies uh, that uh, and all the uh, desktop tweaks that that come uh, with the basic install. So you know, you know, I, and I really like that. Uh, of course, this will come up. Uh, hit this again. Uh, open Firefox up again. This comes up to the uh, Cup of Linux homepage. Uh, and there's a forum, and then there's the uh, there's the links to uh, there's Spatry's YouTube, his G Plus. Not quite. I haven't clicked that. I'm not quite sure what LDC is. Uh, Wine HQ. So if you're uh, if you're uh, running Windows programs, you can uh, go out and go over there and get all kinds of information on Wine. Link to Steam, which is great if you're a gamer. Uh, Mainline uh, Manjaro page, Manjaro's wiki, Arch, Arch's wiki, and that troubleshooter that I've already showed you. So this is a uh, that that that's actually uh, that's actually pretty nice. Uh, you know, kind of doing everything out out of the box so that you can help yourself if you run into an issue like I did. So uh, really like that, and actually. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going over the features and uh, and uh, and programs, applications that uh, are already installed. You can go watch, uh, go over to Spatrick's channel, check out his video, and, and he walks y'all through it. And what's real, what what I think is neat is you can he kind of explains his preferences, his choices, why things are the way they are. Uh, in a, uh, on the uh, in this distro, which you don't often get. I mean, ultimately, any Linux distro is going to uh, reflect their developers' preferences. Uh, you know, from you know basic things like choice of the desktop environment itself. Uh, to the uh, default programs that they include, uh, you know, it's uh, yeah. And when when it's a large team, sometimes things can get maybe a little bit messy. You know, if it's just one or two people who are really dedicated, you can uh, you can really see the. Uh, the, the polish that, that goes into it. Uh, comes with all the codecs, passes the YouTube test. Um, you know, overall, uh, this is one of the nicest uh, XFCE uh, based desktop themes that I, I've ever seen. It's, uh, you know, I'm a Cinnamon fan, but uh, 
you, you can really tell the, the work that's gone into this because XFCE is very configurable and as is proven here it's very themable uh, it comes with uh, it comes with it comes with uh, compiz so you, you can get you know and that and that powers some really cool desktop effects like the way that window opens and closes uh, the de uh, his default the default theme does not have window borders which uh, actually if I were going to take this and start using it as a as my everyday operating system I would probably change that back and add some uh, windows window borders but that's just me uh, so there it is if you like Manjaro uh, you know this is probably uh, not a not a bad spin for you to try it out and also you know for a new user that's that's new to Linux uh, the installation was extremely simple and he includes an, and there's enough options included in the installer to satisfy someone who's a little bit more experienced you know like someone who keeps their home directory on a separate partition it was easy to uh, to identify that and connect it and also something if you're a dual booter or maybe a triple booter uh, you can uh, you can choose not to install grub from this installation now there's an extra step there after after uh, the, after it's done you have to boot up your base operating system the one that the, the one that you actually want to control grub and you have to update grub so that it detects uh, the Manjaro installation but after that reboot select Manjaro from the uh, from the grub menu and, and you're off to the races so anyway here it is it's a good looking uh, good looking spin on Manjaro and uh, that's kind of my take on it this is uh, BR Tidwell 55 and thank you for watching